Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Raila Odinga has been uh, in some part of western region. Uh, for those who remember, it was somewhere in Rwanda. Rwanda is part of a uh, Vihiga County, of course, for an impromptu visit to the, in the campaign of uh, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta. And then also there was another event that was organized in uh, Busia County, which was so much amazing. Of course, it was there. Busia is mixed. We have Luya Luo. <laughs> but again, Raila Odinga is now officially visiting Western region today at Kakamega County. So Kakamega is the place he's coming for the people's brother. And uh, that visit is very significant. So the Kakamega governor, Fernandez Parada, just shared uh, some photos to show the preparation on the ground on how they are preparing to receive Raila Odinga and uh, the activities on the ground. This is what he posted. Eh? Inspecting Amalemba grounds ahead of our party leader, Right Honorable Raila Odinga's visit to Kakamega town Kakamega tomorrow for the People's Baraza. He will be accompanied by a host of leaders from the Azmio coalition. And you can see the photos, you can see the preparing tents. It means this is a well organized event to host the Azmio Laumoja leaders. Now, if you are a politician in Kenya, of course, a national politician, and then you are looking into influencing the Western regional politics, then Kakamega is the place you will always want to visit. Kakamega defines Western region politics. And therefore, that's the place where Raila Molodinga is coming to. <laughs> Remember, Kakamega was the former headquarter of Western region. So all sub-tribes in Western region, the Luya sub-tribes, like all of them, they are within Kakamega County. That's why I tell you, it defines the Western region politics. If you win Kakamega, then you have won in Western region. Because you will see it is going to, uh, it, will be, it will be reflected in other counties as long as you win Kakamega. That's why you see, when Raila Monodinga won Kakamega, it was reflected in Vihiga, it was reflected in Busia, and of course uh, in uh, Bungoma, it has always somehow different. But again, you go to Transoya, again it's cosmopolitan, we have uh, Kalentin, then we have Luyas, who are a majority there, but again, he got good number of votes from that place. So it tells you, you win Kakamega, you have Western region. So the preparation are on ground. There is one thing I'm learning here. In as much, some of the governors have been associating with William Ruto, they still know where they belong. And you can see the person on the ground. I thought it is going to be the former governor of Paranya organizing the event. The same way he was on the ground to help uh, uh, Busia in preparation. But it is fully Baraza himself on front line organizing on how that event is going to be very successful. So people of Malemba prepare to host Baba. The event is ready. So these people are organized. They know where their allegiance is. They know their loyalty where it belongs. And they know the person they are supporting. That's why he is in front line to lead that preparation. So this event is going to be very amazing because it will not only be just for the people in Kamega. It is going to draw people from Vihiga. The people from Busia are going to attend. The people from Transoya and Busia, Bungoma are going to be part of this event. Because once you have an event in Kakamega, it is for all counties within Kakamega County. So within a, within a Western region. As simple as that. So it's going to be a very big event. Remember, it is just coming after Ella Molodinga also making an impromptu visit to Mount Kenya. People never expected him. 
but he pulled a crowd. So, if Raila managed to make that kind of entry, it was a tramfire entry in Mount Kenya region. Just imagine what will happen to this one in Kakamega County. <laughs> because that is his stronghold. A place where he got a lot of votes. Of course, Ruto could not match him. And if he got anything there, then it was courtesy of Ofula Chebukati and the Kamagos of this world. So people of Kakamega, they are well prepared to host. And I've seen people are already, we have people who have even prepared, who, who prepared yesterday to just arrive at the venue one day earlier. And we have those who would just make it in the morning to the same place. So Raina is going there to plant a sense of political direction. Already they support him, but he's just there to remind them. And by the way, I've seen even through the comment section, people are saying that Hanga does not know a Kalenjin, a Luya, a Kikuyu, a Kamba, or a Luo. Jani Jani. Another truth. So, the main reason why people are going to troop to this event in huge numbers is because people have lacked hope in William Ruto's government. There's no total hope. Nothing. And therefore, they are hungry. They just need someone who can push this government to make life affordable for everyone. That person seemingly is in Azimela Umoja being backed by Azimela Umoja leaders, Raila, Amolo, Odinga. So if he's taking that direction and is pushing, people will come out to support that agenda. School fees has become another burden. After people just getting out of COVID, where economy was so bad, they don't have anything. Then you come here, the government is now telling you to pay school fees. You don't have anything. You will attend this meeting to push the government to give that free education to Kenyans. So when Raila will be using this to pull masses together, then that agenda of stolen victory comes in. So we will use the same opportunity to explain to the people why they should not associate themselves with this government because despite the fact that they stood in his victory, they are also treating Kenyans to injustice, to hunger, and to instability in terms of security. So they have every reason to join Raila Mona Dinga to kick these people from power. That will be the message. So two things, very critical tool that Raila Mona Dinga is going to use first hunger, and high cost of living. Then you bring in the stolen victory. In that way, then it becomes something that everyone can buy into it. That's why he was in Mount Kenya and everyone was saying that, oh, Ruto must go. Before Raila would say Ruto must go, they were already singing that. So if that was happening in Mount Kenya, what about Kakamega or Western region? What about it? Because Raila got overwhelming victory from Western region. It means these people are just ready to say Ruto must go. Okay. So if Ruto was fighting to he was fighting for his legitimacy, then the push to legitimize to, to illegitimize William Samuel Ruto is inevitable. And again, everyone is buying into this. So Ruto is going to suffer more of a legitimacy uh, perception in this country. He was trying to create, and by the way, he, was, he had studied very well from Nyanza region once he visited there. But the moment he got to Rift Valley, then the speech that was coming from Rigalde Gashagwa and close ally, then we have Ruto's reaction, it downplayed all the gain he had made from Nyanza region. From that point, then everyone realized that Ruto is playing politics. He has no any plan to sort our problem. So from there, people know, aha, uh -huh. 
So even if you visit our area 100 times, even if it will be a million times, you are only giving position to few people, but not everyone. People need food, people need affordable life, people need to take their children to school. So we are going to wait and see how Kakamega will turn, but the Kakamega governor has assured everyone that everything is in order, the plan is intense, and the only thing they are waiting for now is just to receive Raila Molo Dinga and Asmiolo Moja leaders. That tells you that Fenda's brother is much stronger in Azmio Laumoja. He cannot walk away. He's there to stay. <laughs> as simple as that. I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation. Thank you so much.